Hello and welcome back to Digging for Drez. This time, we are taking Pat all the way to the moon. Now, this launcher is really just a um, enlarged version of the launcher that took us around the moon. It's a bit squirrely. Doesn't like to turn. So, as you can see, I've added in a second set of boosters. Oh wow! This thing does not like to fly. It's probably because of that massive fairing I've got on it. Anyway, we're about to burn out our first set of boosters. There we go. It's all asparagus staged. If you're wondering what that is, Scott Manley has a great video on advanced construction techniques such as that. So, I'll link that in the description. Along with a link to uh, the DeviantArt KSP community. It's a great place to go if you want to see what other people are doing in the game. And I think we might be going a little flat. Plus for Mac 1.5. We've got 30 seconds left in this stage. Going up a bit too flat, a bit too fast. But we can deal. So, yeah, the DeviantArt KSP community it's fairly small at the moment, but it is rapidly growing. Booster separation. And I post there quite often with uh, both the ships from this series as well as my KSP replication series. But back to the task at hand, we are getting into space. Passing 46 kilometers. Passing through 50 kilometers, frame separation. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Um. Bat! Little bit of a problem here, man! Um. Hmm. Somehow, I don't think we're getting into a space with this. Well, we could very easily get into a space, but. Damn. Alright, there's fearing separation. You know what? Whoa! Let's just get this poor sod back down. Ah, anyway. So we know that this guy's going to be returned safely, so... I'll just... recover him and get into space. And we're back. Just after Miko, after a better launch. I got the staging right this time. Okay. That is a really good orbit. 
So, time for the circularization. Now we've got a few contracts to complete in this mission. First and foremost is a simple science data from space. And with this service bay, I have plenty of experiments to do that with. And there goes the music. And I think I've mentioned this before, to complete the science from X contracts, you don't actually need to transfer any science, you just need to run the experiment and transmit. So approaching Apogee. Okay. Now this rocket was originally designed to go to Minmus, but it should work just fine getting us to the moon. Especially since we've got essentially I gotta stop saying that so much. We have got a full tank before we get to our actual lander. So that's plenty of Delta V to get out and into orbit and do most of our descent. There we are. 20 kilometer periaps. Yeah, to save power, it's good to just get it moving and then turn off SAS. I see a, a lot of people who just keep mashing the keys and wasting power and or monoprop. It's much easier just to get it spinning and then coast to the direction that you need to point. Yeah, on the manoeuvre node, it'll take us 40 seconds. We have 60 seconds of fuel in this stage. So if we do this right, we should have just enough fuel left over to insert into a 20 kilometer orbit around the moon. And then make our deorbit maneuvers three two one mark Throttle. So, okay, keep burning a little bit. 29, 14. That's about as close as I dare get. And it looks like we've got 22 seconds of fuel left. Should be plenty to get us into orbit. So let's just use the warp here function.
Okay, we got a Kerbin Mohu transfer. Close that, we don't need to go to Moho right now. But we will be sending at least some probes to every planet. Five seconds out from transfer, and we're in the SOI. Now, can we do more science up here? Local temperature? Nope. Goo. What say you? Nope. I think we might have got a lot of the uh, orbital science, apart from the materials bay, but we don't have one of those on this ship. So let's see, how expensive is it going to be to enter into orbit? Two hundred and fifty-two point five. Seventeen seconds. We've got twenty-two seconds. So, this thing looks like it's perfectly built to make a uh, lunar descent. Warp to maneuver node. Okay. Stop, 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 burn, jeez. Okay. Warp 2 maneuver node does not work. As it should. But we are here with 12.4 seconds left. Let's just go straight for the uh, descent. Let's put our periaps about ten kilometers uh, go eight that should get us nice and lower over the surface and now that we're in a bit of sunlight time to run some experiments nope goo doesn't have anything new Temperature? Nope. Crew report? I didn't get a, uh, try and get a, um, EVA report from up high. We'll do one down low. Now to get. Ah, uh, yes. We do have science of the Midlands. That's good. Now, with the amount of fuel left in this stage, it's very likely that we'll be ditching it with fuel left. Okay, so we're skimming over the ground. Switch to camera free mode. Start looking for a place to land. It can be tricky seeing your landing site. Especially when coming in this high, but if I stop bending now, I'll probably end up about here, which is good. So we'll do that. And watch the map. So we have cleared those craters. Okay, we're out of fuel. On to the lander now. Now we're really high up, so let's just stop burning for now until we're a bit lower and then burn full thrust. Better 
gear out. There we are. So we're about two kilometers above the ground at this at this time. So just make small adjustments. We've got plenty of fuel. So let's make an adjustment this way so we're not directly on that ridge. There we are. And this is the thing with landing. Just take it slow and easy, at least until you've had practice with it. If you've had a lot of practice with landing, there'll come the time when you can just eyeball it and suicide burn. And doing a constant burn descent like this is less efficient. But at least it allows you to check your descent rate. Now at this point, I want to be going less than 5 meters per second. And you notice I limited my thrust. That gives me better resolution with my throttle control. Basically means I get finer control with my engine. And, oop, we're going up. Don't want to go up. We have to go down. Cut throttle. Hold it, SAS, hold it. Let's get back on the straight level. Oh. oh, this is not good. We are a bit wobbly here. Alright. Log temperature, keep data. Log goo, keep data. Report. Yada yada yada. Oh boy. Okay, well, F5 for safety. And get out. Okay, looks like we're stable. He already got that, so. RCS. Whoa! Ow! Okay, he's good. EV airport. Can we see Kerbin from here? I don't think so. Yep, shuffle sideways. And we'll plant a flag. Muna Midlands. The Rocket seems a bit unstable here. Yes, it does. That's another thing you've got to juggle is just trying to see if the surface below you. Whoa! Okay, he just um clambered. Right, as I was saying, you've got to try and judge whether the surface below you is flat and stable. Okay, thrust limiter 100%. We haven't been here very long at all, but we've done what we need to do. So, let's get out of here! Wow, the gimbaling on these engines now is huge! And it looks like we might actually get a Kerbin rise. Okay, we should be able to plan our return from here. I've done moon landings so much in this game. 
so I can sort of eyeball where I will need to burn to get back to Coburn with as much haste and efficiency as, as possible. Now, last time we came back we did a 30 kilometer periapse and that was nowhere near enough. So we'll aim for a 20 kilometer periapse this time. Don't look so concerned, Pat. We're going home. And there's Kerbin Rise. I'm just pausing to watch it. With how hectic things can be in this game, it's easy to forget to watch these sights. And unless you've got good timing, it's hard to get them. Okay, two minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. safe in this service bay on re-entry I don't want to take any chances I mostly have them in here so that I can recover them and get money because money is good okay we'll just time accelerate to stop us wobbling out we get Okay, that one hasn't been used. Oh, there is that thermometer. Can we get an EV report? Ah, yes. Midland Craters. Okay. Take data. Collect data. And we're rotating slightly. Grab. and board. So we're still near the moon. What's our final periaps? 22 kilometers. That should get us back down with due haste. Now I'll see if I can get an EVA report from high over the moon. Nope, I already got that. I don't know if squads are going to fix these sorts of weird orbit errors. It's mostly just an inconvenience and a bit weird, but it's also a little bit annoying. And down we go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get some more science, because more science is good. Oh, yes. Uh, no. Can I grab it from here? Yes, I can. It's always a good idea to place experiments where they can be grabbed from the Kerbal standing on a ladder. Because that way, it's easy to get them. Even if... You uh, 
if you're on the ground or in space. Now we're coming down over the grasslands. Now, having go through re-entry with deployed antennas and open service bays would not be a good thing. Now, I've still got a lot of fuel left in this, but we don't need it because the payouts from these contracts are going to be more than enough. So there's the uh, common line. And yes, we are stable. That's always good. And there's the heating. Not go through any of our heat shield yet, although it does look pretty. And there we are, starting to eat through our heat shield. And our periaps is now at 18 kilometers, 17. We're coming back. No more secondary orbits. And we're suborbital. Whoa, bits blowing up. Thankfully, nothing on this capsule. That seems to be quietly enjoying himself. Guess he knows that he's going home. Constant three G's. That's a very sedate re entry. Okay, we're suborbital and subsonic. Deploy the chute. You know, with this surface bay on here, this looks even more like the Mercury capsule with the landing bag deployed. Too bad we're landing on the ground and not in the water. deployment and we are safe and impact everything's okay yay and we're in the highlands you don't have anything left to get from here let's see what bountiful science we have collected We got 195 science. And he's gained 5 XP. Let's see what we can spend this on, shall we? Now, without an upgrade, we don't have very much choice. But I think we'll go for docking ports. Hmm. There's a 2.5 meter heat shield. Bigger decouplers and nose cones, tiny engines, or big engines? Well, we can get a few, so I think we'll go for big engines. Bigger nose cones. Don't think we'll go for bigger heat shields just yet. 
Ah, oh, okay, and we don't have enough science for anything else. But our next purchase will definitely be this for the ladders, barometer, and the crew can. Because I want to start building space stations. And we've got some more contracts. I'll finish that one up off camera, but fly by minus. Oh man, why couldn't we have gotten this one? We were just there. Another rescue mission. A couple more satellites. Some stuff from the surface of the moon. Again, I was just there. TT70 to couple of orbiting Kerbin. Yeah, that's a nice, nice contract. This one's in flight below and one above. Hmm. Well, the next episode is going to be around Minmus. Huh. Off camera, I'll finish up this contract and do this contract as well as the satellites. And then next episode, we will go to Minmus and get some more science just so that we can start building space stations. So, until next time, see you later.